now our bridesmaids and our groomsmen. First up, we have Monica Ruit and Kurt Walsh.
keep this short and sweet. I've known Rob for over 15 years now, and through the years, Rob has become more like a brother than just a good friend. Our friendship did start in a very peculiar way, though. The first time I met Rob was when I walked into one of my high school girlfriend's bedrooms, and to my surprise, Rob was trying to put the moves on <laughs> Well, the girlfriend's long gone, and Rob and I are still best friends. And he's moved on to bigger and better things in a wonderful woman in Magna. Who looks wonderful tonight, by the way. Rob's come a long way in his days of since his days of Eagle Talon driving and listening to tunes on his often replaced Alpine stereo. He has gone from rock bottom in his finances to becoming a homeowner. He's gone from a delivery boy at Mary Brown's to a value, valuable Air Canada employee. From a mediocre goal, or lacrosse goalie at Orangeville to a semi-pro goalie who plays overseas every year. And most of all, Rob has gone from a very round, heavy set individual, much like myself, <laughs> to losing over 100 pounds by running and working out at the gym. <laughs> I know it was one of the hardest things he's ever had to overcome, and maintaining it has been also a challenge, especially with friends like Craig and I bucking up every Wednesday to go to studs for wings. <laughs> <laughs> But along the way, Rob has had the support of a wonderful, wonderful person keeping him in line and cracking the whip when need be. Magda, keep it going. I know it hasn't been easy. And Magda, I'm glad. I'm so glad Rob has found such an amazing person to spend his life with. Uh, you truly make him happy. He's much better, better off with her than he's with you. But also, it's a plus that I have someone to drink, drink some vodka shots with on weekends. <laughs> I'd like to finish off by thanking all the uh, people that contributed to making uh, Rob and Magda's special day uh, possible. Uh, special thanks especially to Magda's family, their hard work and support of them. Uh, without you guys today, it wouldn't have turned out as wonderful as it did. Also, to all the people that have come from near and far to join in the celebration of the day, I don't think I've ever been to a wedding where there's been so many guests from so many different places and people have traveled so far. Uh, but it just goes to show how much Rob, Rob and Magda mean to everyone and how many people or how people care about them. Uh, many thanks to uh, Magda's maid of honor, Sasha, and the entire bridal party. Uh, their hard work in, in organizing the events leading up to today. You guys truly did a good job. Okay? And then finally, if everyone could uh, stand up, raise their shot glasses and toes.
was in elementary school. She would remember me as the girl with the cool blue shoes, and I'd remember her for a tomboyish flair, up for any adventure. We have many memories together, like riding our bikes up and down DeWitt Road, for slushies at Max Milk, getting all dug up for the Fanny Awards at the ACC, and many crazy trips to Grand Bend with the girls in the summertime, where Meg always had a tendency to fall asleep under the hot sun. And one of the many crazy things I've learned from the Polish side is to apply sour cream to cool the body when you get a serious sunburn. Now Magda has grown into an amazing woman. It is an honor to know the person she has become and to stand by her side as her matron of honor. Thank you for being such a wonderful friend. I love your jokes, open heart, and brutal honesty at times. <laughs> for as long as I've known Magda, the most important thing in her life has been her family and her friends and of course her hidden bottle of vodka. <laughs> Robbie and her life, packing a week's worth of his lunches for her new newbie. <laughs> if you don't know the story of Meg and Robbie, they met each other in Mississauga at Crocodile Rock almost six years ago. Robbie was leaned up against the bar and kept insisting on buying Meg a drink. Soon after, won her heart with a sweet, char with a sweet charm and humor. No distance could keep them apart. Magda then took a leap of faith and moved to be closer to him. Soon after, Magda and Robbie purchased their first home together in Wasega and now enjoying each other's company and traveling the world together. So here we are, Magda and Rob's wedding. They made it, still going strong every day. They've been through a lot together, but they've defied the odds. Today is a celebration of where they are now. I'm oh, sorry, where. Today is a celebration of not only where they are now, but the road that has brought them here. They built a beautiful life and home together. I have a little something for our newfie friends. <laughs> that they stay back home. From the waters of Avalon to the shores of Labrador, we've always stuck together with a rant and with a roar. To those who've never been, soon they'll understand. From coast to coast, we raise a toast we love thee, Newfoundland. <laughs> to love, to happiness, to happily ever after. I love you guys. Cheers. So
buy the bills of bone and I used to buy the sales and I used to buy the catches of fish and bring them home to buy the
stuff we can't sell, but we can donate. So we're all good. We're all good. No cops in here. Uh, yeah, I'd like to congratulate uh, my sister and Rob on having a great wedding. And uh, I love both of them. And uh, in about an hour, I'll make a better speech once we have uh, music going. But uh, I love him. He's like my brother. My sister's like my sister. But, uh, yeah, that's right. Well, there's days where I wish I had him as a brother instead of her as a sister. But we're all together now. We're all having dinner and uh, enjoy. And uh, if you guys are ever hurting or anybody wants to party, my dad's house is open. And it's fully flowing. <laughs> Play good, have fun, and uh, enjoy. Hey. Booze, booze, and more booze. And uh, stall up.
Sultan Muda.